Mm. Good day, everyone. Today, I will be discussing capitalization of words in English Braille by Ajibade Isaac. As I've always said, I am a Braille professional. Please subscribe, like, comment, and even share this lesson. Thank you. What is capitalization? Capitalization in English grammar is the art of printing or writing in capital letters or with an initial capital. When you write or you print a word, a sentence, when you use capital format, maybe you capitalize everything, you make everything to be in capital letter, or you make one or two words or letters, you make it in capital letter, you allow them to be in capital letter, we call this capitalization. There are two forms of capitalization in English grammar. Number one, number one is initial form. Initial form is when the first letter of a word is in capital form. And to break such, the capital sign must be brailed once. You must apply the capital sign once. Understand that. Keep that one at the back of your mind. The second one is full capitalization. When all the letters of the words are in capital letter. Where you maybe you want to write a topic now, the name of my school. My school. My school could be in capital letter. Where you allow this, where you write this in capital letter, we call it full capitalization. And where you want to braille it, you must use double capital sign. You must use double capital sign. When we get there, I will explain better. What is the braille school? What is the braille dot? What is the braille? What is the indicator for capital sign? In Braille, the capital letter is represented by capital letter indicator sign. And it is represented by dot six. Capital letter is represented by dot six. It is represented by dot six. Let me remove it. Let me, this is dot six. Dot six is here. It's represented here. That means if you are anywhere, any reader, any blind reader say dot six, you will have it at the back of his mind that he's talking about is the sentence is represented by a capital letter. That means the words there will be either in full capitalization or initial. Ah. And at the same time, there is another rule. Understand that when you are using this dot six, you must apply or braille it before the letter that will be in capital form. You must put that dot six in front in preceding the letter that will be in capital form. Understand that? And there must not be any space within the capital sign and the first letter that will be in capital form. That will be in capital. There must not be any space within the two of them. Let's look at this example. Let's look at this example. The example of initial capitalization. I saw a book. Did I? I saw a book. Did I? If you see this example very well, I is having a cap is in capital form. D is in capital form, and the next I is in capital form. Let's try and braille it out. Yes, let me take my high as usual. This is I. This is my I. Let me move it on. I. But do you know that there is a mistake here? People do make the mistake. They will just bring it. They will be expecting it. No, the first thing you're supposed to do is to bring it in, to bring in the capital sign. Bring in the capital sign, the indicator, which is dot six. This is I. Dot six will come first. Now, I will now go and bring my I, which is dot Two four. This is I. There must not be any space. There must not be any space. But for the sake of to avoid module up, let me just create a little like this. There must not be any space. Yes, I. There is no space like this. This is I. Now after that, as immediately because between the written word I and S, there is a space. We must create a space at least an inch. I, S. 
let me take a and w once and for all let me take the three once and for all because of time now this is my x here i saw this is my a now it is let me I saw S, let me take my S, let me do it once after the other. C, S, this is my S, let me take it here, bring it here. This is my S. This is my A. This is my A. And this is my W. As this is my W. I saw A. This A here. Don't let me stress myself going down there again. I saw this A. I saw a book. Let me go and carry that of book. B O This is B. O. Okay. I saw a Book. Did I? It could stop there. I will, in the next lesson, I will explain it, but I will just put it. Now, the did have capital sign. We will bring the capital sign again because there is no space again. I will start from the. I will bring it to the next line. Now, D. Let me take D. Let me just take ordinary D here because I have the rest there. D I this is I please. This is I and another D. Did I? Now the I two is having capital letter. Let me just make this bring this one here again. Did I? Now full stop is here. Let me put the full stop. You must not forget. Don't try to bring anyone. Don't try to forget anyone out of it. Full stop is dot two five six. Let me bring an empty one here. Let me carry it and stop it. Here. Now, question mark is. Dot two three six. Now let's look at this example very well. Yes, this is capital sign dot six I I so S two three four A W A space A space B O two 
135.135.15 book and the punctuation mark dot 256 that's the full stop here now the capital sign d i d which is did space capital sign i dot 24 and the question mark thank you now if i want to write this in full capitalization i don't need to stress myself according to the rule if i want to make it full capitalization according to the rule let me pick it down in the space what i will just do is this i will just make sure that this one starts with dot six two dot six will be here one two and at the same time let me repeat myself let me repeat myself if i want to make it full capitalization now let's say this one now to come let me delete this for space in order to have space if i want to have if i want to make this one full capitalization i saw a book that means i instead of having one dot one break dot it will have two it will have two so a book and because it continues we will remove this did and because the double sign means the double the double dot six that I apply means the whole of the sentence is in capital form. I will just apply it to one. Once I apply one, two, I saw a book. Did I? I will now terminate it with dot six three. I will terminate it with dot six three. That means I will bring dot six first. And again, I will now end it up with another dot three. That means what I'm saying is that this is the end of the full capitalization. In full capitalization, in full capitalization, the set the sentence must start with double dot six. It must start with double dot six. That's one, two, I saw a book full stop did i and i terminated it with dot six and dot three we call it dot six three if there is any other question please send your message to me make your comments and i will appreciate everything thank you bye